Hello, John again. Now this is part five, video six, and in this video we're going to take that um, sprite to data collision detection routine that we just put together in the previous video and embed it into the Neptune Lander uh, basic program. And we'll just what we're going to do is we're just going to let it that if it hits any of the the uh, scenery we're going to make it drop out and and um, to just basically end um, and, 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 and stuff like that so let's get cracking so here is the collision detection routine that we wrote I'm going to create a new file called Oops, yep. Tune Lander V4. So I'm going to copy all of this. Paste it in here. And I'm going to shut down V3 because we don't need it. So what we're going to do is in the loop we need some way of uh, jumping out when the sprite uh, has de de detected that it's collided with uh, the scenery. So what we're going to do is we know we don't need this line anymore because that was our test for the time. So we'll take that out and we need to set up the sprite so that um, collision detection can be specified and that was this command here so we're going to do that and we're going to in the setup routine so here when we set it to black we're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to set that up so that's turning on the collision detection and then we will, like we did here, peak the, co the collision detection byte and we're going to do that directly after we've moved the sprite. So we're going to detect it and we're going to say if CD, in fact we'll do this, if CD and 1 equals one then end let's just make sure that's everything that we need yeah yeah we don't re-establish everything yep that should do it so let's build this I've done it again haven't I wonder let's build this and see when it connects when it hits any data we can figure out we'll see if it um, see if it jumps out here we, so here we go boom there we go now because I've done end there's ready there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, 210, 218. We'll just get it to loop round. That should loop it round. There we go. So as you can see, it's just detected that it's clipped that there. Right, so what I'm going to do now, let's run it and run it again, is we're going to try and do a bit of attempting to move it over. And we're going to start. Let's stop it. Let's do. Uh,
Hmm. I think we need to clear some variables out. Let's do that. Alright, let's see if we can move it over. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> oh dear. Now that's going to... No, 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 no. Let's escape out of that. Right, so we should... Has it crashed? No. I don't know what line it's breaking on. Sort that out a minute. Right, let's see if I can get it to move over. So if I press that one, it should move over. Spike. There we go. So even though this scenery is actually in the middle of the spy, uh, the spry area, it only fired once a dot of the spry actually touched a dot of the uh, the surrounding area. Which is great. So, let's run that again. I still think that CD still won. I think what's happening is, is it's still saying that there's a one in that uh, in that there. So if I rem that at, well, let's take out line 210, 218, let's take that out, run, there we go, and, be, and because I took the 218 out, it's, uh, it's no longer doing the detection, so what I will do is we'll create a Another one, we'll create another, so we'll do 899, 899, go to 899, there we go, and here we go to 899, save, F5, gonna have to do something about that. So that should be at 899, so if I run it again, hopefully it will go back to normal. No. It's still saying that so if we print peak print C D. Print C D. Yeah it's still saying it's one. So it's still Print peak oops peak I'll break it five th five three two seven nine So now it's naught but C D is one print C D So if I run it now it should work good out. Because CD's not. There we go. God, that moves down really, really quick. Gonna have to slow that down, I think. Definitely have to slow that down. So, so we're saying gravity's 28. So it down after 28 steps, it drops three. 
Let's double it. So 56. Slow that down a bit. There we go, that's better. Ooh, wrong way. Oh, done. Right. So, what we need to do here to say cd equals naught. Let's do it again. Right, F5. Let's see if that resolves the uh, dual running issue. So it goes down, stops, rerun it. No. So there is definitely something going off. So maybe maybe we need to um, poke three eight, five three seven nine. Zero. Let's see if that resolves the issue. Right, five. Right, so we're going to let it drop down. There we go. Stop it. Rerun it. No. So we're missing something. We're missing something. What are we missing? What are we missing? Maybe. Maybe we have to read it. Because it says in the book that it resets itself when you read that lo byte location. And maybe because we haven't read, read the byte location, it's going to say, oh, I'm one. Right, so that's an error. That's purely because xx equals, because I didn't put it into a. Right, F5. So this is us working out now the the death routine because we need to be able to reset stuff. So it drops down, stops, we escape, rerun it. No. No, no, no. So it's not there that we need it. Maybe we need it. As part of the setup. So when we do this poke, first thing we do is read it. Right, F5. Right, so it's going to drop down. Here we go. Stop. One. As it's reset it. That's better. So the problem is it because of this happening now, that bit has been that byte has been is flagged up. And because as soon as we run it again, because we hadn't read it and reset it, it immediately went and said, Oh, I've crashed, I've I've collided. So yeah. We'll have to remember that as part of the the initialization routine. Cool. 
So that's collision detection done. Right, so the next one is to to put in the death throws, but I'm just wondering if we should start coding it in assembly. Hmm. Because we've got the crux of the the program here. Yeah. We'll have a bash at uh, starting the assembly, I think. Yeah. All right. Then. Well, that's so. That's put the uh, collision detection in for the the crash. Um. What we may do. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done the landing, have we? Where we detect where we land or anything like that. Maybe that we should do that first. Get get the get the understanding of that done, because that's going to be testing for the collision detection. But then we have to test for where the sprite is, and if wherever you know, and, and if it's in a specific region. So well, maybe that's the next video is where we test um, for for it landing, essentially, and. So it's going to be in this area again. So this area is going to get made bigger. We're going to expand this out. So as well as it testing for death, we'll be testing to see if we've successfully landed. So yeah, we'll do that in the next video. All right then. If you like what I'm doing, please hit that like button. If you don't like it, well, hit the dislike button. Always put a comment, because uh, I will answer them. And to support me if you would be so kind to become a patron of mine that would be great as well well take care and have fun see you in the next video bye i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much